Hey traders, today we are gonna try out a new scalping strategy using the stochastic oscillator and the EMA 200. If you watched my previous videos, then you probably know why I always use the EMA 200. That is purely to check if I'm trading in a current trend. Otherwise, I'll have. Otherwise, I will not take the trade. So I only take long positions if the price is above the 200 EMA. And I go short when the price is below the EMA. So looking to the stochastic, um, how are we going to use it and what is it exactly? According to an interview with George C. Lane, which is the developer of the stochastic, the stochastic oscillator doesn't follow a price. It doesn't follow volume or anything like that. It follows the speed of the momentum of the price. As a rule, the momentum changes direction before price. So you can get a, have better entries with using the, uh, the stochastic. So here's a small example how the stochastic is calculated and where you get the value from. Um, if you see this chart and the bottom price of these five candles is 100. And the highest price is 300. And the lowest of the last candle is 260. The formula is um, current close minus the lowest low. The current close is 263. We do that minus 100 divided by the highest high, which is 300 minus the lowest low, which is 100. And we do that times 100. So 260 minus 100 is 160, 260 minus 100 and 300 minus 100 is 200. So 160 divided by 200 is 0 0.8 and 0 0.8 times 100 is 80 of course. And that is going to be the value of your st stochastic. So if you go back to the chart, I'll show you what 80 means for the st stochastic. It's, it goes between zero and 100. Um, so yeah, the calculation is quite easy and you only use the last 14 candles by default. For this example, we used five, but that doesn't really matter. It's about your formula, so you, you understand it now, I hope. And otherwise, just check it again. It's not that hard. So let's get into the chart and let me show you the uh, strategy. So we're back into the charts now. Um, let's add the indicator. We are using the five minute. You can also do this on the one minute, but I prefer always to use the five minute. You have a bit of breathing air in between. For me, that's good. Otherwise, I get... Uh, a burnout and that's not what I want. So let's add the uh, moving average first. Change that to 200. I also use 200. 200. Oh, 200. Style, make it clear for you. So I make it red with a big line like so. You can see that we just changed the trend reversal now. Bitcoin, I use DT. And let's add the stochastic. If I can type the default stochastic, there are a lot of um, indicators made by other people. Just try them out. Maybe there's something good for you. Probably make a few videos about them, but not right now. I just want to do the default stuff first. And after that, I want to go deeper in a different set of indicators. So how does it work? Um, as you can see, on the stochastic, you can see, well, let, let's make 100 and 0 to make it easy. When it's above the 80, it means that it's oversold, overbought. And when it's below the 20, it's oversold. It's uh, quite the same as RSI, but it's calculated differently. That's why we can use it completely different. Um, normally, I on only use one line. Um, Otherwise, it's the uh, it's the D. I want to use it as one, so it's the same as the K line. The K line is what the calculation we did in the uh, presentation. So let's only use that one. So I see a lot of downtrend here. So let's give a downtrend for example first. When do we want to enter? So when we do do not want to enter to take a long position. So when it's oversold, we just ignore it when we are in a downtrend. We only 
take short positions when we are in a overbought scenario when we are in a downtrend. So right here, we are overbought. So this is where we would take a short position. Really matter. 0.5. I just do uh, 0.5 always. I should zoom in a little bit. Like so. And 0.6 or 0.7 is our profit taking. So the first one, as you can see, we took a profit. Second one, we went back up here. So this is where we take a short position. 0.5. Point seven. It's going to be an easy hit. And when um, sometimes it's tough to take the point five exactly, but, um, but I'll take another scenario for you there. So we went all the way up here with a big ass candle. So um, yeah, when when it was on the top, when it was spiking, we could take a short position there. There, it's always on the next candle. Wait for it closes. 0.5. Well, this one was a hit as well. Let's see. This one went up here, closed there. So we take a short position here. I think this one doesn't hit. 0.5. 0 0.7. Oh, we just missed it. That's unlucky. here as well take a short position 0 0.5 points uh, uh, we, we hit this one or is it that's there 0 0.5 0 0.7 is here so right now from the first example we only missed one which is good of the five trades. Uh, let's check some uptrends now. So this is, uh, I finally found some uptrend. There's a lot of downwards momentum on Bitcoin, unfortunately. But uh, for scalping, if you only scalp, it doesn't really matter. Um, you just uh, trade within the trend, so you're always good to go then. Um, so I don't know where to start. Uh, we can start here. So the first one here, it was oversold. That's where we take a long position. Long position. It started here, closed there. 0 0.5, 0 0.7. Almost an easy hit. Oh, pushing the wrong po point. 0.7, this is a hit there. You, you can also see that. Next one right here. Got it here. I don't think I would short here already. I want to next close, so uh, long, I mean. I would start somewhere here, probably on this green candle. Take a long position there, in the middle to make it uh, fair. 0 0.5, 0 0.7. We hit this one, it's fine. Next one. Um, first one was here. Next close, I would do it there. I would take a long there. Here. 0 0.5. 0 0.7 was a hit as well. Watching the wrong number again. Okay, here. Next one, right, right here. Don't think this will take it. Here, long, here. 0.5. Oh, this one will hit. Right now it looks like it's cherry picked, but believe me, this one was the first uh, uptrend I saw. So you can believe me, you cannot believe me. It's whatever you want. Let's take every trade, even when it's this uh, tight. 0 0.5, 0 0.7. Oh, still hit it though. First one here. Closest there. Long position. This one should stop out. Five, yeah. 
and seven. Finally, we took a loss. Damn. <laughs> Next one right here. So we take a long position there. This one was, will hit. Pretty sure. 0.5. Yeah, this one hit. So I guess you uh, get the point now. Um, I'm gonna do 100 trades, at least uh, how far I can go, and then I calculate the average, and then we can see how much profit I took. And um, to make this, actually to make every scalping strategy better, always draw in your support and resistance lines and avoid these lines or make it to you so you have a better entry. So don't take a long position when the stochastic just told you too long but when there is a resistance line above it i would not take that position you know but for this video i would take every position without support and resistance but you can make your trades better when you use them with it i made a video about it i will uh, put it in the description you can find it there um, so yeah, I'm gonna take 100 trades. I'm gonna fast forward it. You can put it on slow motion so you can see exactly how and why I took it. Um, and after that, I will show you the results. If you liked the video, uh, please don't forget to like it and subscribe if you want to see more content. I'm trying to do every week one scalping strategy. So yeah, check in every week. I might find a new scalping strategy for you which has better results than this one but from what i've seen now i think this one has some uh, good results so okay see you in the next one bye bye So this is the result, hope you can see it. The win rate is 62%, so that is um, average on this channel. Um, I did 100 trades. If you trade this with uh, Bybit, please use Bybit when you're scalping because the fees are way lower, especially when you do a uh, limit order and you even get money for it. Um, if the starting balance was 1000 and we did a leverage of one, so we literally played with $1,000, we would have made almost $300. But if we are going to use leverage, like for example, always 10 leverage, we would have made uh, around 10k. And that's uh, pretty solid in my opinion. Um, I hope you liked the video. I like this strategy a lot because you can get uh, quite often an entry. You don't only have to do it on Bitcoin, you can do it on every altcoin, whatever you want. If you want to trade on Bybit, please use our uh, code in the description. If you like the video, please subscribe. And yes, yeah, see you in the next one. Bye bye.